this is Greg Weeks from the Red Court. I'm here at NAMM, my first time ever for Metal Blade TV. All right, so far the day is going absolutely great. I was just checking out the effects at JMI, Jennings Musical Industries. We're gonna walk around now uh, and see if any of my famous friends are around, because I know everybody in the industry. Let's check it out. That looks like someone I know, but it's not. Is that Duff McKagan? No, it's not. I'm trying to find my friend. He's got long hair and a beard. I'm trying to find my other friend. He attempts to look way cooler than he actually is. Hopefully we can find him. I'm trying to find my friend. He dressed up in his rock outfit specifically for Nam. I have way less friends than I thought because I don't know anyone here. Is that Kurt Hammett? No, it wasn't. Do I know any of you? Oh my God, is he not like the best drummer ever? Abe from the Deftones is an incredible drummer. Absolutely incredible. We just passed him and I didn't say hi. Uh, we know each other from way back, so I didn't want to like make things weird, you know. So I'll probably catch up with them later. We'll go get um, some tacos or something. We could go uh, visit my endorsers and ask them what it's like working with me. I'm assuming they're gonna say uh, it's probably the greatest experience they've ever had ever, and I'm the easiest artist to deal with and the handsomest and every now and again, I smell good also. <laughs> Sir, can I ask you a couple questions with uh, Metal Blade Television? It's very nice to meet you. I've never met this man before. So, uh, what is it like working with me? Um, uh, well, you see, what happened was, um, well, you're a whore, so we put you on a lot of stuff, but just because we want you to go away. But you keep coming back. Told you, they love working with me. That's what I told everyone. Yeah, so anyways, introduce yourself, please, sir. Hi. Uh, yes, Brian Johnson, um, a product specialist and, and, and great friend of, of um, Greg Weeks. The best thing about these badges is that if you forget someone's name, it's written right there, so you just look. They'll be wondering why you're looking at their stomach the whole time, but you could just say, have you lost weight? Oh, let's talk about my favorite product from Planet Waves. My favorite product. Let's go look at it. Let's go. Yeah, I want to go do it. Check this out. It's genius. This has never been duplicated because it's brand new. It's been, what, other, other companies have attempted this? Definitely attempted is the word, yes. And it probably failed. And if I work with any of those companies, I was just kidding. But if I don't, then you guys failed. Tell us what to do. You know I'm not going to give you more free ones just because you're kissing my ass, right? This product sucks. With traditional tuners that are of the headstock nature, people put pivots on it to try to make it look fancy. The reason that you want a tuner is to tune. I don't know what the f you're doing otherwise, OK? So what you're doing with this one is take a nice good look at this. It's very visual. You see that it's red when I'm out of tune, and as I come back up, come back up, and I go way past it and in tune, it turns green. That's a really nice little addition for the kids that are really into Christmas and it only happens one day a year. Yeah, this is one of the greatest things. I uh, procured one when I visited the Daddario Planet Waves factory and stole it, uh, and I've gotten several since because they're awesome. Oh, I'm famous. Let's go show them the famous screen. <laughs> Check this out, man. Get ready to be proud, Mom and Dad. I've been here most of the day just looking at it. Come here. Look, more famous people that I know. This is my boy. This is my boy. Uh, tell us your name. My name is Art. Art Cruz played drums for the band Winds of Plague. And Art, would you let everyone know where we met? We met at uh, Mayhem Fest 2008. We were both touring together. Not Winds of Plague, but Red Cord was on Mayhem Fest. The first one, big deal. Actually, no big deal. Yeah, we did it. Don't worry about it. I don't know if you've heard of bands like Slipknot and Disturbed, because they were on it as well. Yeah, no big deal. No, it's like no big deal, but don't worry about it. What was it like hanging out of Mayhem with me, personally? Like, specifically me? Well, you were shirtless half the time, so uh, it was great, actually. Yeah, it's magnificent. It Do I have your number? Steering out. All right, ready? Seven seven. I'm gonna call you right now. So you have Give me a man. We just talked, so you don't really have to call me right now. It's ringing, bro. Is it? I gave you a falsy. There it is. Booyah! Do you hate when people talk like this? It drives me. No, you gotta do this. You gotta go. Yeah, I'm over. I'm at the Daddario booth. Yeah, bro. I didn't even. I'm gonna listen and talk like I'm an idiot. Anyways, I hate that. But 
All right, get out of here. Okay. Um, yeah, let's get in touch. I had a great time day one. It's been absolutely fabulous. Hope you were as entertained as I was. Um, everything's a bit out of control and overwhelming. And I realize I'm not as good as a player as I thought I was when I hear everyone else play. But whatever, what are you gonna do, right? I'm still wicked famous. <laughs>